Hi guys, it's Jamila here from Slap. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the brand new Lisa Eldridge Liquid Lurex Eyeshadows. She's just released three new shades and I decided I had to get my hands on one of them. So I'm just going to get into it. But if you haven't subscribed already guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the Slap family. And without further ado guys, here is the video. She just released three new shades for holiday season, I presume. And as you guys may know, in a recent video I actually said I wasn't going to buy any more because I've got loads and I don't really use them as much as I should. But when I saw this new shade launch, I was like, that's finally the one I've been waiting for. And so I kind of had to buy it and try it. Uh, so I'm going to be testing it out for you guys today. I got the shade Viola and it has a nice warm undertone, which is definitely a good thing because one of my issues with the last brown one, which I did really like, it was a bit cool toned and this is a lot more warm. So I think it's going to be a much more flattering shade for my skin tone. The other two shades also, one of them I really, really liked and was very tempted to get, but the swatches are available on the vlog so do check those out i'm going to read you guys the blurb show you the packaging show you some swatches all of my liquid lurex swatches and then i'm going to get into a demo she's just released three new shades they are titania a kind of bronzy goldish shade cressida a very kind of ethereal pearlescent shade and then viola which is a kind of like a plummy shade these are 19 pounds 27 us dollars they are 2.8 mils and 0.09 ounces so one of the things i love about this eyeshadow from lisa aldridge is you get a pretty decent amount 2.8 mils 2.8 mils but the best thing is that they are very affordable under 20 pounds for a liquid eyeshadow is very good compared to other liquid eyeshadows so that's one of the things i really like about it so she says this is a gilded royal plum with gently shimmering pink pearls the ultimate easy to use one and done embellishment with a flattering formula that is both creamy and lightweight liquid lurex eyeshadow has a lustrous wet look finish with a durable shine. I'm going to show you some swatches, show you the packaging and then I'm going to get in to a demo. Those are the swatches on. I actually really like this shade. When I first swatched it, I felt like, oh my god, it's a dupe for Steeler Twig. But actually swatching it next to the twig, the twig is a lot more brown and bronzy. But they do still have that warmish undertone, which I really, really like. 
Zora though is much cooler, but it is a really great shade and I do really like it, uh, the bronze Zora. It just has a much more silver fleck coming through it, whereas this Violet is much more warm and soft on my skin tone, which is great. It's definitely in the same purple family as the Bianca, but the Bianca's a lot more icy and bright and obviously like a lilac. This one's much more of like a plummy, bronzy, warm plum. So I really like the look of it. Actually swatching all of these Lisa Aldred ones next to the Steeler Twig, um, which was like one of the original liquid eyeshadows. The Lisa Aldred ones are a lot more vibrant and a lot more molten. They have a bit more of a glossy glaze to them. I'm going to try it two ways. I'm going to try it on its own and then with an eyeshadow underneath. I'm going to use the Lisa Aldred brown eyeshadow as a base just to be fair. So I'm going to pop it on. I'm not going to put any eyeshadow primer on as I always do when I'm doing these initial reviews. I know it's kind of like frustrating for some people because Technically, if I was wearing it on its own, I would wear an eyeshadow primer, but I just want to see what it looks like on my bare lid without anything kind of manipulating the shade or the the way it sits or anything like that. So I'm going to pop it on first. This is Viola, the one I've been waiting for, potentially. Let's see. actually already like this it's very moody it's very rich but it's very soft and flattering on my skin tone it does help that I'm wearing navy uh, because navy and kind of plum go together really well but I think it really brings out my eyes weirdly even though it makes them look darker it's kind of like sultry I'm gonna pop on some eyeshadow as a base on this side as a base I'm going to use this shade here from Lisa Eldridge Cinnabar this is the shade deep okra and I'm going to talk about this eyeshadow palette in my favourites. So keep your eyes out for my November favourites because you'll understand what happened here. it does layer on top of itself in a blend out really nicely. I am really into this. I love the undertone of it. It just sits on my skin very easily. It doesn't feel like it's fighting my natural undertones or my skin tone. It just feels very effortless. I'm really happy with this. I really love the moodiness of this wing. I feel like very cool. Um, and I really like it kind of laid out. So guys, that is it. That is my finished look. That is the Lisa Eldridge Liquid Lurex Eyeshadow in the new shade Viola. I've just popped on the Velvet sorcery i think it is lipstick and just because it's a bit movie and i thought it would bring out some of the purple i really like this viola shade i feel like it will be really good to actually pair with other eyeshadows i have and actually will make me wear them a lot more because it's a really great base shade a really great base grounding color for some of my other lisa aldridge liquid eyeshadows like the angelica which is kind of pinky rose gold and also the lauren which is a bright gold as well so i think this actual eyeshadow is going to make me experiment and use a lot more of my lisa aldridge liquid eyeshadow so that's a good thing but just on its own i think it's really nice i think it's fantastic for winter really nice 
warm, sultry, wintry color that I think would work in autumn, winter, spring, and summer. So I'm really happy with it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. Will you be buying it? Will you be trying it? Do you like the look of it? Let me know. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the slap family. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.